you got to try this empanada thing. I'm dying to. I'm just going to eat my lunch first. Yeah. That cake is your lunch? I just, no, I, I'm, I'm done with the cake. Oh, I was going to say. Bring in the cake. I don't really feel like sweet potato. <laughs> So I spent two hours calling my team to like check in and like see how everything's doing. All of them inundate me with their like drama about each other. If you even knew each person what they were saying. I decided to check in with everybody at Poosh to see how everyone's doing. I called each person individually and it really just felt like everyone was venting to me. Like I shouldn't even be bothered with this kind of stuff. I got in a fight with Sam Hyatt yesterday. I have Stop. to tell you, if you knew the way she spoke to me yesterday, you would be, you wouldn't even believe it. What did she say? I'm dying to know, like an example. Like, Just give me one. I was trying to be, because they're all like, I feel like I don't know what's going on with the team. I feel like this, I feel like that, and all this stuff. So I'm like, maybe they want to like, and I feel like they're like, they want me and like my attention. So I'm like trying to be nice. I said, hey guys, I'd love to invite you Friday. Let's sit in a circle at a social distance. We'll get the sandwiches that we like. Coach meeting? Yeah, and then we'll like, we can have our meeting in person. Right. Like, the questions that start coming, like, I can't make it to West Hollywood on Friday, then someone else, I can't make it on Friday, oh I'm going God. camping. How unprofessional. Oh they push, I'm so nice, 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 nice. Then they pushed me over the edge to where I said, remind our guys that Friday is a work day. Please make yourselves available. Then someone else writes, I can't make it. I also need more notice with three kids and no help right now, and I don't appreciate the vibe of this text chain, so I'm out. Then she the removes way, herself. Then she okay, removes here. herself from the conversation. But you're not boss, a weekend. Right? No, but you're her That's boss, I right? I'm her boss. You do not speak to your boss like that. Courtney, she's hired a lot of her long-term friends, and not that there's anything wrong with that, but sometimes it's really hard to separate work relationships and friend relationships. And sometimes lines could get crossed. Like someone has to always be in like boss mode and someone always should be in employee mode during work hours. After that, it's a free for all, hang out. So I just think, oh, that could be a very blurred line. Courtney, lay down the law. I am. Cause they're gonna walk all over you and they're gonna, what's it called when you take over the kingdom? I... Overthrown. They're gonna overthrow you. <laughs> Don't let them overthrow you. I wrote her on the side and I said, I will absolutely not be spoken to that way. And she goes, neither will I. But like, you're gonna speak to me like that in front of my whole team. And then I go, it's not appropriate to speak to me like that in front of our entire team. She goes, I agree. You shouldn't speak to people like that either in front of our team. Wow. For my friend and employee to like disrespect me on a group chat in front of all my other employees, it was just not okay. It sets a tone for the whole team and for how they think they can treat me. I need to set some rules and to like really lay down my boundaries. It's gonna be professional because they're all crossing right. major boundaries.